Volker's bowling alley has seen its last strikes and spares. It's just a decision that we had to make. In April, owner Krista Volker announced plans to demolish the iconic building, which has sat on the corner of Amherst Street and Elmwood Avenue since the late 1800s. Volker says structural issues only grew worse during the pandemic as the building sat empty, showing the need for a change that her family has been looking into for years. The idea of it being saved is great, but we've been looking to repurpose this building for 15 years now. But the desire to demo the building has run into a massive roadblock in the form of the Buffalo Preservation Board. The board says the structure, built in 1892, is historically significant and should not come down. Volker disagrees. The building is worth saving because of a brewery that was on the east side and they sold the beer there 100 years ago. It's, it's all far-fetched. How does the owner fix the building? We have to change the culture around that. That question shouldn't be asked when the building is about to come down. The B city of Buffalo should be channeling resources into the preservation and celebration of the structure and the neighbors who delight in it well before that question is on the table. Volker says she hopes the area eventually becomes a green space or possibly a grocery store or bank. But before that could happen, the Buffalo Common Council needs to decide on its significance. The next step is it goes before the Common Council and then they decide if it becomes a landmark or not. The issue is, is if it becomes a landmark, then all you get is a rotting building at Amherst and Elmwood. It just sits there until it literally falls apart and then is demolished. In Buffalo, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.